For the first time in 50,000 years, a comet making an appearance in the night sky. Yeah, meteorologist Jill Gilardi is at Central Connecticut State University telling us more about how and when we can see it. This is pretty cool, though, Jill. Tell us more. Yeah, it is super neat. Anything like that, you know, it attracts attention, especially to us as sky watchers. Uh, but yeah, really, you need Mother Nature to cooperate. And the other two things right now, you'll need a telescope or binoculars to see it. On January 12th, the comet is at its closest point to the sun. And to see it, you either love to stay up late or an early riser. The best viewing time with optical aid will either be past midnight or just before dawn. For example, looking northeast around 6 a.m. on January 15th, the comet will be located between the Big Dipper, Vega, and Arcturus. Later in the month, all indicators are that the comet will become more visible not only to the naked eye, but earlier in the evening. So by January 28th at 11 p.m., the comet will be visible just above and to the right of Ursa Minor. By the 31st, just after sunset, a much more reasonable time, you'll be able to see it above Ursa Minor 2. On February 2nd, the comet will be at its closest point to the Earth. Expect to see a fuzzy little ball with extensions, but don't expect to see a vibrant green comet like the picture. A photograph will always outdo what you see with the naked eye. So the human eye is meant in dark conditions to not bump into things, not meant to see pretty colors. So when we go out and look at objects in the sky or we look at objects through a telescope, people are disappointed because it doesn't look like the Hubble Space Telescope pictures. Yeah, it's pretty amazing, though. You still have that opportunity to see it uh, with your own eyes without the telescope and binoculars. The best time to look up to the north is going to be late January, early February. And the key is obviously to be away from, you know, lights like this, for example, in any of those dark areas. Uh, that is the key. And it also happens earlier. So even better there. So good luck to you. We have some time to potentially view the comet. For now, reporting live at CCSU, I'm meteorologist Jill Gilardi. Channel 3 Eyewitness News. All right, fascinating stuff, Jill. Thank